My personal belief is we need to be willing to stand alone for the sake of righteousness, for the sake of the gospel. Um, we need, as pastors, I would advise you to teach your congregation how to minister. Teach them the truth of the gospel. Jesus got involved in the messiness of people's lives and he walked with them. That's what we are called to do. We're not called to change anyone. I'm not called to change anyone. I'm not responsible for the outcome of someone else's life. I'm no, nobody's savior. I'm nobody's redeemer. But by golly, I'm a representative of the gospel. I'm a messenger of that gospel. And I can proclaim the truth regardless of the consequences to me. Whether I live, whether I die, I am the Lord's. That's where the body of Christ needs to come. Would you be willing to lay down your life for another person or for the sake of the gospel? How do we overcome the enemy? By the blood of the Lamb, by the word of our testimony, and not loving our lives even to the point of death. Psalm 107, 1 and 2 says this, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His loving kindness is everlasting. Let the redeemed of the Lord do what? Say so, whom He has redeemed from the hand of the adversary, from the north, south, east, and west. That's everybody. In other words, if we who have been redeemed, if the body of Christ is not willing to say what they've been redeemed from, how in the world is anyone out there going to know there's even hope? That's why I've never been silent. That's why I will not be silent, because I remember being a kid, sitting in those church pews, Sunday after Sunday, wishing somebody would tell me freedom was possible, and no one ever did. All I ever heard was, you're homosexual, you go straight to hell. That's all the message I ever heard. And as a kid, I didn't see hope as even being in the realm of possibility. So that's why I must share. That's why I will not be silent. I just won't. And up to this point, I've been able to fly under the radar to some extent, but I'm rescuing as many as I can, with or without the church. I'm gonna rescue as many as I can because that's the mandate God has put on my life. So I'd say, church, be willing to lay down your life because that's what Jesus did.